Welcome back guys. So previously we have solved the first three parts of question 24. Today we are going to solve part D, E, F and G. Okay, so let me start part D here. So in part D the expression is A plus B plus C complement. Okay, so how many inputs do we have? We have A, B, C, three inputs and these are the input lines okay we have to see that we have to add them together so therefore a will remain is in in its uh, original form b will be in its original form while c has to be complemented okay so therefore i have to use here the nor inverter okay so the two inputs of it are combined together so therefore here i will get the c complement this will be b and this will be a okay uh, so now this is given to the three input nor gate okay so this is a three input nor gate so let me give these inputs to it and at the output of it what i will get i will get a plus b plus c complement and the whole complement of it okay so in order to remove this complement this output should be applied to another uh, nor inverter so therefore the nor inverter here we will have would be this one the two input nor inverter and it is given to it and therefore at the output of it what would we get we would get a plus b plus c complement okay so the complement uh, applied by this uh, final nor inverter will cancel out the available uh, complement okay uh, similarly in part e of our question this is the solution of part d in part e of our question the uh, we have here is x equal to a b whole complement plus c d whole complement okay so what will be the procedure here first of all we have to see that how many inputs do we have so here we have uh, four inputs okay so let me use them here so this is part d part e uh, and here the inputs are a b c d okay so we have uh, these inputs and uh, the input lines here are one two three four okay so let me first use them in such a way that initially this term will be found out and then this one at the end we have to add them together and all of these operations will be carried out by the nor gate okay so let me uh, first draw two nand gates okay so the two nand gates here would be this is the first this is the second nor gate okay the two inputs of it are combined together okay and these are given to this one okay so the two inputs here so let me apply it here and the output of it this will be the AND gate okay we can see that this is the AND gate and in order to invert the output of it we have to implement it to another NOR gate as well so here it will be okay so at the output of it we will get what we will get if the two inputs are applied here the output of it will be a b whole complement okay similar gate can also be applied here so here this is the first uh, nor gate with the two inputs uh, combined together here the second nor gate the two inputs shorted together okay uh, the third nor gate with two inputs these two inputs are applied to it and it will give me what this is the and gate okay so in order to invert the output of this and gate and to make it the nand gate we have to use another nor inverter okay so let me apply this input here this here so at the output of it we will get what cd whole complement okay so these are the terms we have found out so we have found out a b whole complement we have found out c d whole complement now we have to add them and uh, in order to apply the uh, or gates what do we have to do we have to use the nor gate which is followed by 
another NOR gate and it will work as the inverter so at the output of it we will get what the addition of both of them so let me apply it here and it here so at the output of it what would we get we would get a b whole complement plus c d whole complement okay so that is the output okay and here we can very easily see that let me use this color that this is the first and gate which we have applied here this is the second and gate okay which we have applied and these two are for the NAND operation while we can very easily see that this is what this is the or gate okay so this is the or gate and these two are the and this one this one as well so this is the and gate and this is also the and gate okay so this is the uh, solution of part e here okay uh, similarly after it we have to implement part f so i will see you in our upcoming video in which we will implement this part f of it uh, so till then take care of yourself and i will see you soon